Hey, what's going on you guys? So if you own a pet, then you and I are two of several million people around the world who happens to be a pet owner. And chances are, if you're like me, you see your pet as your best friend and just love the unconditional love and comfort that they provide you. Now this is what I would consider a normal pet owner, and I think this probably represents a majority of pet owners across the world. However, there are some pet owners that sit outside of the lines of what we consider normal, and I know that we've all seen them at least once before in our lives. So without further ado, here are a few of those pet owners. Number one, the obsessive pet owner. Now this type of pet owner is one of the most recognizable because they just don't own a pet. No, no, no. They own royalty and to them the world revolves around their pet. They go above and beyond caring for their pet as a pet and instead treat their pet pretty much as another human. Now take a drink every time I say pet in this video and get used to it because I'm going to be saying it many times in this video. Now their pet usually doesn't have a pet name. They usually have a human name or some kind of other corny elite name and they usually speak to their pet like all the time as if they understand what they're saying like as if they're human. <gasps> Hi princess. <gasps> Hi. Oh, did I just wake your princess? Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey princess, guess what? Are you excited for dinner? <gasps> Are you excited for dinner? I bet you are. And guess what? It's gonna be your favorite dinner. I know you're excited for it, but I'm just about to make it now, but unfortunately I have to leave you for a couple minutes, baby, if that's okay. Is that okay? Oh, I know you just want me to stay here with you, but guess what? Mark is gonna help me make your dinner tonight, and he's gonna help make it extra delicious. You're gonna love it. But I have to leave you for a couple minutes, so just stay here, baby, and I'll be right back soon, okay? I'm gonna go make your dinner. I'll be right back. And when they serve their pets food, they don't serve their food in dog or cat bowls. No, no, no. Those are for animals. Hey Mark, can you grab a bowl for Princess's food? Yeah, sure. Where do you keep her bowl? Uh, in the cupboard, to your right. Okay. Um... I don't see it. <laughs> right there, silly. Princess gets a normal bowl, just like the rest of us. And it doesn't end there. They don't feed their pet kibbles or any other normal pet food. They get nothing but gourmet. Want me to save you a step? Where do you keep the kibble? I'll grab it for you. <laughs> kibble? Listen, I don't know what you feed your dog, but Princess does not eat kibble. So what do you feed her then? Scraps? <laughs> no, today she's having poached fish with a balsamic glaze. <laughs> seriously? Is she getting dessert after this too? Uh, yes, seriously, she's getting ice cream after this. Now Princess, come have your dinner, love. Come on. Come here, Princess, come on. So their pet is pretty much a person that gets treated as such, but if they go to a place where their pet isn't welcomed or treated like another person, watch out. Come on, princess, I bet they'll have your favorite flavor. Welcome, what can I get for you? Yeah, can you give me your manager, please? You're speaking to him. Okay, why is my dog not allowed in here? Oh. It's a sanitary thing. Since this is a food serving establishment, we're not allowed to let animals in here. Plus, a few patients are scared of dogs, so it's to make it a nice and comfortable setting for them. Scared of dogs? Sanitary? Listen, buddy, my dog is very clean, very nice, and he deserves to come in here. This is discrimination. I will not be giving business to a place that discriminates. Okay, maybe I'm dramatizing just a little bit, but we have definitely seen variations of this type of pet owner many times before. Like I said, to them, the world revolves around their pet. They're also the type of pet owner that when you walk by them on the sidewalk while they're walking their dog or cat, do people walk their cats? I don't know. But they're the type of person when you walk by them while they're walking their pet, they give you that look of like showing off their animal as if it's like the queen or something. You know the look, it's something like, and meanwhile, in the nicest way possible, to me, I really couldn't care less because it's not the first dog or cat I've seen and it's not my pet, so I just really don't care. Now, I wouldn't consider myself quite at that level. I mean, it's not like I have, you know, artwork of my cat or anything. Type of pet owner number two, the I have a pet owner. Now I put pet in quotes here because generally a pet is a companion animal that you spend time with and take care of. The I have a pet owner really doesn't do that at all. They are the complete opposite of the obsessive pet owners in that they just really don't care that much about their pet. To them, their pet is mostly just an animal that lives outside that they feed every once in a while. Yeah, it's good to see you again, man. Uh, hey, where, where's Tango, by the way? Tango? Oh, oh yeah, Tango. Um, I don't know, outside somewhere. Oh, cool, so he goes outside? Yeah, he lives outside. He doesn't come in here. Oh, uh, what do you mean? like? As in he lives outside? When did you see him last? Uh, a few days ago. I'm sorry, but that is not a pet to me. Now this type of pet owner just completely baffles me and stumps me because I, all I can think of is what's the point? Like you have this animal outside that you feed every once in a while. 
Like what's the point of calling it your pet if you hardly ever see it? The whole point of getting a pet is for companionship and to care for them. And I mean, I guess they're caring for them by feeding it, but I mean, it's really not a pet, is it? If they just see it every once in a while, like to me, that just doesn't really fit the definition of a pet. Type of pet owner number three, the fashionista. Now this type of pet owner is easily the most recognizable because they parade around their pets looking like this. Now this is one of those situations where I just feel so freaking bad for the animals because they always just look so ridiculous and totally over it. Like they're not into it at all. And I'm just here trying to get into the head of the pet owner and just wondering why they think this is a good idea. I mean, let's just all admit that pets dressed up just look ridiculous. No ifs, ands, or buts. To me, it's not really that cute or that funny. It's just kind of weird. But again, I guess to each their own. And lastly, type of pet owner number four, the territorial pet owner. Now this type of pet owner does not take having a pet as a fun, you know, relaxing, refreshing part of their lives, they take it as a competition. To them, their pet is at the top of the pet pyramid in the animal kingdom, and they feel it's almost like their responsibility to defend superiority of their pet against people who don't have a pet of the same species. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, here's an example. Oh, man, it's just so great to see you again, just catching up and stuff. Oh, oh, I forgot to ask you, do you have any pets now? Hey, funny you ask, actually. As a matter of fact, I do. I just adopted a cat a couple of weeks ago, and I... A cat? Ew, why would you adopt a cat? That's disgusting. Dogs are so much better. Oh, um, okay, but for the record, I've loved it so far. Like, my cat is a complete sweetheart. Dude, trust me, cats will never love you as much as dogs love you. Cats, they just suck. Now, I can't speak for every pet owner in this world, but in my experience, most of the territorial pet owners I've met in my life have been dog owners. But regardless, this type of pet owner just drives me nuts. I'm honestly probably going to do a whole video on this topic in the future because I'm just really passionate about it. But to me, all I can ever think about is, what's your problem? Like, it is possible for other people to like animals that you don't like or consider loyal or what have you. And even if you do like one animal more than the rest, why do you feel it's like your responsibility to vehemently dislike every other animal that other people like? To me, it's just so stupid and pointless. Owning a pet is not a competition, and for some reason, they treat it like that. Now, let's just all sing kumbaya around the campfire and acknowledge and accept that people adopt all kinds of different pets for different reasons, and that is perfectly okay. But seriously, if you come up to me and tell me that I'm a horrible person for liking cats, we're gonna have a serious problem. So that's it for this week's video, Types of Pet Owners. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and share it to anyone who you think might find this relatable or might enjoy this. That really helps me out when you share and like it. So please do that. And leave a comment below letting me know if you know any of these types of pet owners or if you are any of these types of pet owners or if I missed any. Please leave that in the comments below. I would like to know. As always, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All the links for that are down below and at the end of this video. And subscribe if you haven't already. I finally hit over 300 subs. I felt like I was in the 200 for like so long but now we're aiming for 400 and also remember that once I get to a thousand I will be doing a giveaway of some sort so if that's not incentive to, sub to <laughs> if that's not incentive to subscribe I don't know what is so hit that subscribe button it's right down below anyways that's it I'll see you guys next Tuesday for another brand new video bye I think it's gonna go guys it's literally splitting Okay, now I'm nervous. Do you see that water?